Hello! What's going on everyone, Mr. Here? Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic today as always. Staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. Welcome back to another scary video. Today we're going to be looking at Nuke's Top 5 because I've done a little bit of research and I figured out he's actually a quite popular channel for this kind of stuff. As always, okay, I warn you, don't watch this alone. Bring your dog or bring a cat. Or if you game enough, you can just hang out with me. So yeah, right here we've got Nuke's Top 5. He's almost at 4 million subscribers and we're going to be watching a real ghost's court on camera. Question mark. So yeah, as you can see, we've got quite a few little things here to watch. Uh, ten of them, it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, a dislike if you didn't. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new, of course, because we are almost at 30,000. It's pretty cool. All right, let's do this. In, in the road. The Chapali Toll Road in West Java, Indonesia is known for two things. What? Frequent traffic accidents and reports of strange supernatural sightings along the roadway. This bizarre dash cam footage almost captures both. Mm. All right. Oh, gee. Oh, my. <gasps> We're literally 36 seconds in, and I already got the goosebumps on my arms. Look at that. Oh. So he swerves over there, and then when he goes around it. It's really hard to tell what that what that is. Anyway, we'll put it back to normal speed and keep going. The video, which was recorded just after midnight, is bizarre enough even at normal speed. But slowed down, it becomes downright terrifying. Whatever it is, it's just standing still not even moving. But what I notice is this car looks like whoever was driving fell asleep and they were slightly like veering off to the left and then realized and dodged it. I don't know what it was though, that's insane. Some strange misshapen thing appears to be simply standing in the middle of the road. Locals believe this to be a ghost caught on camera. Yeah, look, 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 look. Also, even the truck in front of it actually swerved. Look. But slowed down, it becomes even the truck. downright terrifying. And then it, uh... Some strange misshapen thing appears to be simply standing in the middle of the road. Locals believe this to be a ghost caught on camera. But... What do you think? I think that it's very strange because even if it's not a ghost, it would be kind of hard to just go ahead and place something like a mannequin of some sort there and get it to stand up with all the wind of the cars driving past. Like, how's it actually still standing there, of course? And if someone placed it there, how did they manage to do it? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A lot in the woods. He says that the video was recorded by his brother Carlos, who would often film himself on hiking treks through the forest of El Mascal, a rural area of Barcelona, Spain. Mm. This video was recorded in 2016. Carlos has not gone on a nighttime hike ever since. Well, I mean, first of all, look at the density of that. I don't know if I'd want to go for a nighttime hike through there. Oh! Man. You hear the sound effects as soon as the camera pans onto it and you get the and then the music like I would be hearing that in my own head if I saw that. I'm like, okay, wait for the action music. As soon as the action music picks up, I know I gotta start running. The body, the rest of the body there, the hands, the head, it's just standard. It's just standard man. It's not slender man, but it's just a standard man. Maybe it is Slender Man, but he's actually just average height. That's why no one sees him, because he's a bit embarrassed. Cut for time, Rachel is uncut. Okay. Thanks, Snoop. Yeah, I'm not sure quite- Oh no, that is the same fucking thing! Don't you touch that tree, it's gonna start moving! Why would you sit down? Why? Wow, uh, um, <laughs> that sounded like a car that doesn't stop. No, at this point, you're just waiting for it to just show up. Oh! <laughs> I'm sure whoever, whatever this thing is that's following you is aware of like everything around here. Next thing you know, the only place for you to look at is the only place it's going to show up and you're going to be fucked.
Don't, don't you dare show up through that hole. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you anywhere. Yeah, crawl out. That's right. You don't want to be in there, man. Oh! Why did he look back at the hole? Okay, that's a little bit suspicious. Unless he was thinking maybe I should go back in there because it's too freaking scary to just keep running. I'll zoom in a bit for you guys so you can see even clearer. I don't know, man. It's a lot over here. So, what do you think? I don't know what is I this think. Is a paranormal encounter or a ghost caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Oh, I don't know, Nuke. Let me know what you Silmar think about that. Ghost. Parent Anna Diano was attending a high school football game at Silmar High School in Los Angeles, California. She was recording her daughter Mariella doing a cheerleading routine when she caught this strange footage. What'd she catch? Students at the school have started to refer to the footage as the Silmar Ghost. What do you think? It don't look photoshopped, it looks real as real can be. CBS2 News in Los Angeles asked Anna's daughter if the cell footage had been edited. So she, she doesn't even know how to work her phone, so no. So is this a bizarre phone glitch or a ghost caught on camera? You mm. decide. The Ghost of Carmel, Maine. Hello and welcome to Ghost of Carmel, Maine. In right. a previous video about ghosts and shadow people, I've talked about Kent Burris and his channel, The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. A man named Kent says that he began to experience strange occurrences after moving into his house in Carmel, Maine. He found that his house had once been owned by an undertaker, and mm. that the residence served as a funeral home from the years 1906 to 1919. Kent claims that his right. house is very supernaturally active, and is haunted by multiple ghosts and strange beings. Well, I don't like the, the angle here. Not one bit. Okay, there he is in the window again. What? Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you talking about this thing? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Dude! The reason I jumped is because I got it extremely loud in my headphones and it was loud, okay? It was loud, the noise. I jumped. I'm not trying to overreact or anything. Go, go what around and have that? a look. Oh. Small black teddy bear. Listen, I just gotta say, Kent, you're gonna need a bit of a brighter light. Like, you're gonna have to show the ground and you're gonna have to show underneath the bed. Like, you, you need to show us. For all we know, it could have been like just a pair of pants strung up there on a string and it's underneath the bed and he pulled it. Just saying that that could be something that you could do. Uh... Alright, I'm out of here. Now, if you're wondering why Kent's reaction is so casual in a situation that would absolutely horrify most of us, mm. well, he says he's had hundreds of these bizarre encounters while living in his haunted home. Hope you guys say something or do something. Oh my god! No! Oh. To see all of Kent's ghost investigations and more of his terrifying paranormal footage, I highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel Man. Oh. The Night Visitor. Twitter user Cheyenne Rachel posted that her dad claimed that when he slept at night, he felt like something was messing with his sheets, and that he sometimes got the eerie impression that someone was sitting- No! Listen, I, I sleep right there. I, I, I make these videos, as you can see right now, it's daytime. I make these videos, I edit them, I finish about like 6 or 7 o'clock, and I do some other stuff, maybe record again. And when I'm done, you know, it's about time for bedtime and I lay down in bed and uh, at the moment I'm, I'm by myself at home, which I'm fine with, but I sleep with my door shut, which means if I do feel something, it's definitely not someone. It's shut with a latch. Just, oh, uh, it's just something grabbing at your sheets at the end of the bed and stuff that's like literally a depiction of horror. And that he sometimes got the eerie impression that someone was sitting on his bed. He set up a camera to record overnight and this is what he caught. What'd he catch? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
So we're speeded down this end and it sets up that end. Yeah, obviously a TV's there, so let's watch this again. Is that a hand? It actually looks like someone sits up in the bed and then just kind of sinks down into the sheets. Oh, and then something but is at it the just end the of bed covers too. moving in a bizarre way? Yeah, yeah, the yeah the bed covers just they're just moving. Yep, it's just the wind. Or something paranormal. Nah, it's just the wind. And why does this look like a head that just seems to disappear? I don't know, Nuke. Exploring the asylum on the Urban Exploration Channel. Exploring with Mikhail, they explore the old abandoned South Carolina mental asylum. Built in 1820, this building was one of the first mental. I gotta show you guys something quickly, okay? I know you're probably interested in watching this, but like, just listen, okay? Um, what's it called? Boston Park Asylum. This is just around the corner for me. Um, and it's super old and they, there's horrible things that went down there. Um, as you can see right here, this is, this is it. It is super old, as you can tell. It's all fenced off now, but we parked like over here and then you can walk in and there was like a, there was a break in the fence for where people have broken in. It looks, it looks way older than this now. It's all breaking apart even more. But you walk in just about here and there's a door and um, anyway, I don't need to tell you how to get in. But basically, the amount of horrible things, just like in all old asylums and stuff like that, there's a lot of horrible stuff treatments they did. If, if you were if you were just sad all the time, people would think there's something extremely wrong with you. And they'll, they'll do horrible things. And I've been in there and my, my grandma's been in there as well. She's passed recently, but, but the story she's told me about being in there, one of them being the most interesting that she had told me was that she could still hear because there's chains still on the wall from where they were chained people up and she said she could hear the rattling but it didn't sound like an actual rattle it sounded like she was watching like a listening to a video of the rattle almost as if it wasn't actually real anyway 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 let's uh let's continue with this built in 1820 this building was one of the first mental hospitals in the u.s it goes without saying that the old asylum has a long dark history mm. mccall and her friends are walking along the third floor of the creepy hospital when she hears an odd noise coming from one of the old patient restrooms mm. <laughs> this is the main floor. oh look at that I just want to say, that could be the wind. That actually could be the wind. <laughs> because if the draft is coming in, it's coming underneath, and if the blades are, like, hanging down this way, and the draft comes underneath, it's going to blow them up. I'm just saying, I don't know. Now, you might wonder why the video abruptly cuts out right after the strange incident with the blinds. And so did I. So I asked Mikhail if there was more footage, and she explained that, bizarrely, the camera on her phone just froze right after the incident. Now, at first that might seem a bit suspicious, but Mikhail was nice enough to even send me a screen cap of the raw video from her phone to prove the strange lockup. Okay. Oh, look at that. So it's directly from the phone, like there's the original video, nothing done to it at all, just sent. And obviously, if you know enough about video, you will be able to go into the details of it and be able to see. You, you can, you, you'll be able to tell if it's been tampered with before, or if it's just straight from the camera still. And I'm guessing Nuke has done this. So is this a ghost caught on camera? Or is it just the wind doing some very bizarre things with the blinds? And a glitchy phone? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Nuke. I don't know, Nuke, but I like Nuke. The Sad Observer. Sad Observer? This next clip was a private video uploaded to YouTube six years ago. A man named Oscar and his family were out having a fun day at a nearby creek. Mm. When they checked their footage back, it turned out they were not alone. It's just family having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the observer? I'm looking. Oh! Oh! It's gonna make my eyes water. And I've got the goosebumps. 
I don't even care if this stuff is fake or real. Not this stuff, I don't care if these videos of this stuff are fake or real. It's just, regardless, the spookiness. It, it's also because of the music and the way of its voice and, and the, the quality. It, it, it all ties in together to make the perfect concoction of spookiness. Just great, that's why I like doing these videos. That thing looks like it's just sitting there. It's got like its arm up. It's just sitting in the, in the little crevice of the rock there or something. Oh. Is it moving at all, though? That's the thing. The pale image of a little girl in white can be seen sadly watching them from the creek's edge. Oscar claims that there was no little girl there when they filmed the original video. At least... Not that they could it looks see. like it's got a small the turn of the head. Video. Watch. Ready, watch. At least, not right that there. They could see. I know there's a lot of artifacts going on. And the compression of this video is horrible. But, I mean, it does look like there's some sort of movement. There's no other movement besides that part. So it kind of looks like it goes... And listen, I know, it's always, it's always the low quality videos, but the thing is, if you received only high quality videos, it would look even faker. If it's super high quality, if it's caught in like a, like a proper 4K mirrorless or like DSLR or something, it's gonna, it, you're gonna be like, this is too clean. Runner. A man and his wife move to a new house in the wilderness in Bradford, Pennsylvania. He decides to record a video to send back to his family in California to show them their new place. But he catches something that he didn't expect. What? And we're walking. <laughs> no more holding. <laughs> Their purse. Woohoo! Started for time. Look. Edited for time. Original is uncut. Yeah. The dark part of it, yeah. Dark? Did you see it? No. You were going to tell me before we were too close. Right up there. And up? Yeah, way at the very top. Where? Tripping. Like on the tree line? Pointing out with the camera. Oh, oh it's just part of the tree then, I guess. Okay, then stop trying to freak people out. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was curious. Relax, man. She was just curious. She's not trying to freak people out. She thought she saw something. Relax. Is that it? Yeah. Is it right? Yeah, it's raining. Okay. I was going to say, what is that? Is it making like popcorn in like a portable microwave or something? What, what, what's going on here? Here's the bonfire, bro. Oh, that was weird. I just saw something. No, you didn't. Stop trying to scare people, man. <laughs> yeah, let's go back on that quickly. There's the bonfire through. through the bushes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look, starts about here. Whoa, that was weird. I just saw something run across the screen. You liar. What about these shuffles? I don't know. Man. No, it was like a, it was like a shadow. A strange mist that almost looks like running legs comes out of nowhere and disappears behind a bush. It looked like it was on all fours, like doing a like a stereotypical like run on the forest floor chimp kind of run. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Is this something paranormal? It looks like it's or on just all some fours. Bizarre natural phenomenon. I don't know. I don't know, Nuki. Two guys on a motorcycle are riding along a lonely back road toward the city of Uti, India when they spot something a bit strange along the road. Mm. The riders are speaking the language Tamil. But you don't really need to understand their words to hear just how freaked out they are. I, I don't mean to like, uh, you know, I don't mean anything by this, but there is a lot like there are so many popular videos from all over India, like on Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. And they got so many views. And I'm not saying this is one of them, but like, could it just be something someone set up? It, it looked like this. I don't know anything about like how they dress and stuff like this, but it looks like to me, typical kind of stuff someone, a woman would wear over there. Maybe I could be wrong. Okay. Don't take offense to this. I'm just not educated. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But they definitely obviously sound distressed. As they continue down the road, they calm down a bit. But then this. Okay, 
Oh, it's there again. It's the same thing. And there, the video just sort of cuts out. Now, some viewers think that the writer's terrified reactions make the video seem very real. But what do you think? How I mean, I can scream and over-exaggerate if I need to. Not to say that these guys are doing it, but yeah. Obviously, there's a possibility for anything that anyone can do anything to make so something like this, okay? Don't have to be a professional actor, and I'm not trying to dismiss it. Just, just saying, okay? <laughs> I don't know what to think, step. Nuki. Footsteps. Popular French YouTuber Goose DX does a very creepy paranormal and ghost hunting series called Chasseur de Fantôme, which mm. in English simply translates to Ghost Hunter. Oh, I thought it was going to be something a bit more complicated than just two words. But I mean, I like different languages, so it's cool. That's cool. In the series, he travels around to remote locations in France to investigate reports of haunted locations and paranormal activity. Mm. In this episode, Gusti X spends the night in a haunted house where the owners describe multiple disturbing occurrences. Water puddles in the floor even though there is no rain or leaks. Mm. Things go missing around the house only to show up later in odd locations. But the late night sounds are the most disturbing of all. This is what he caught. Doors can be heard opening and closing on their own. Strange voices call out in the night and loud footsteps can be heard pacing the halls and clambering up the attic steps. Mm. Gusti X spends the night in a bedroom right beside the attic stairs. Oh, yeah. Cut for time, original is uncut. Just so you know. Ooh. They were heavy footsteps. Maybe not even footsteps, whatever it was, was heavy. Yeah, hey, hey, you know, you know what this reminds me of? Once we moved into this new house, and this house was one of my mother's friend's husbands. Uh, he, he hung himself in that house, like, I don't know how many years. Quite a while before we moved in there. We didn't know about it until we moved in there, and then her friend was like, hey, we, I used to live here. And there was a lot of weird stuff that went on in there. Uh, it wasn't scary. It's spooky, like, if you're not accustomed to this kind of stuff, but it was more comforting. But the thing is, I remember one night, this is funny by the way, it's not actually a ghost ghost story or anything. I was just laying in my bed trying to sleep and stuff and, and I had this big, had this big cupboard kind of next to my bed right at the side of it just because the windows were placed weird in this house because it's an old house and you know, I would just block in like moonlight and sunlight when I wake up and stuff. And I hear this scratching. I hear this scratching from inside of the cupboard and then the door starts kind of moving slightly open forward and I hear this scratching and it just gets gets vicious. I'm freaking out. I'm just laying there, man. I'm just laying there thinking, oh, just come out. Just get me. Just come out. I don't know what's in there. Just come out. Just do it already. I don't want to stress anymore. Just finish me. So I just bolt to my light, turn on the light, walk in, open it up. And uh, yeah, it was just um, my cat because he often liked to go into cupboards curious. Is that door opening? It is. It's cracking. It's cracked. Release the cracking. <laughs> I think the door was cracking. I could be wrong. I, I thought it, maybe it was. Maybe it's not. I don't think it is. Okay, cool. Because I'll, I'll just watch, man. It's all good. You get out there. It's going to be right. Uh... Come on, just open that door. That's all you got to do. One open the door and then it'll all be revealed. Still, it's like a band aid, just rip it off, man. Got it. Not fast, don't do it slow. Oh, it was just the door. It sounded like someone knocked on it as he opened. You need to go upstairs because Nuke and I need to see that there's no one upstairs, okay? You need to head on up there, man. Quelqu'un? Je vous en 
entend marcher. After hearing loud footsteps on the attic stairs, Ustiex opens the door to find nothing. He checks, but no one is in the house. When he climbs the stairs, okay, here we go. he finds that the attic light is on, even though that he's certain that he turned all the lights off before bed. Ustiex has no idea what caused the loud footsteps on the stairs. Neither do I, Nuki. So, if you speak a little French, you can check out the rest of the ghost hunting series over on the YouTube channel, Ustiex. Oh, I'd love to, but I, I, I don't speak French. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thank you, Nuke, for uh, providing us with this video. Anyway, guys, that's uh, that's gonna do for today. Tonight, today. Uh, I don't know what time you're watching. Hopefully, you're watching at night, so it's more spooky. I know I don't need to keep saying this. I keep repeating myself, but I really do think it's just absolutely awesome that I can do something like this and actually have fun doing something with you guys watching. On my channel, I got like over 200 videos on just games, playing games and stuff, and that's awesome. But it feels like I'm the one doing it and you're watching, whereas this, it feels like we're watching together. You know what I mean? So I, I really enjoy it, and uh, based on all. The feedback and everything like how the videos are doing you guys are really enjoying it too so yeah that's awesome i love you all stay safe stay happy healthy and hydrated and don't die bye bye